Julia, we're here at the 2024 WGA Awards, and clearly you're part of a groundbreaking project, not yet. What does this moment feel like for you this evening? I am so humbled. I was shocked to even be nominated and to be among these other nominees, some of whom I've admired my whole life, others who I've admired intensely for the last few years. Uh, I, I, I'm just thrilled, absolutely thrilled. So were you surprised with the nomination? Yeah. Because I am definitely not surprised oh, by so nice. I, I was. <laughs> I was surprised. I was actually on a notes call with a producer on another project getting feedback when my phone started pinging with messages, people saying congratulations, and then I looked and saw it was really special. So is it fair for me to ask, like, what has been the most inspiring and life-changing project that you've worked on thus far? What has been the most inspiring and life-changing project that you've worked on? This one, for sure, Nyad, is the most inspiring project I've gotten to work on. The story itself is inspiring. Diana is inspiring. But also for me, I've been writing features for a decade, and this is the first one to get made. So it really, it was incredible. It was like getting to the other side of a mountain that I've been climbing for a long time. It comes to like the collaboration aspect of what you do and working with directors, producers, and so many more. How do you maneuver your way through finding balance, collaborating with such a big team? That's such a good question. You have to both be really nimble, flexible, hear other people's ideas, understand when you're passing the baton to people who are taking over, particularly once I got on set with the directors, I just wanted to support them and help the actors because it's their baby now. And in the early drafts, it's your baby. At the same time, you also have to hang on to the essential elements of the script, be there to remind people what you want to protect, what everybody liked on the last draft that you don't want to get rid of on this draft. So you sort of have to be the advocate for the script as its own sort of entity in the process. Before I let you go, any advice that you would like to leave or give to, you know, those coming behind you? I always tell writers coming up, read a lot of scripts, write a lot of scripts, read, read things outside of your wheelhouse, read things that you love, read things that you don't like and finish them, you'll always learn something, and write. You know, you'll get the bad scripts out of your system and you'll discover your voice along the way. Thank you so much, Julian. Congratulations. Thank you.